Hello class, uh, this identification is on the Bill of Rights. Um, you'll just be doing four to seven sentences on this um, and then turn it into me through Canvas or uh, or email would work too. Um, the Bill of Rights was created in uh, 1789 it was uh, the first 10 amendments to the Constitution. Uh, so the Bill of Rights was a major change in the Constitution, which added on these new 10 ideas that would be permanently part of, of the Constitution. So the Bill of Rights really becomes a permanent aspect of the Constitution. Uh, it was created in 1789 and ratified uh, or went into effect in 1791. So the first 10 amendments or changes to the Constitution, uh, as I have said, is the Bill of Rights. And there's nothing to stop currently these amendments to even be changed now. It's just a very complicated and rare procedure for uh, an amendment to the Constitution to occur. Um, so as there have been some changes in the Constitution, uh, that would affect the Bill of Rights, but in general, most of the Bill of Rights is still very much in effect. Um, the First Amendment, uh, or the first article, as this slide shows, is freedom of speech, religion, freedom of the press, uh, freedom of assembly, which really means the right to protest or gather in groups. The second article refers to aspects of self-defense, um, the third article, where it says the quartering of soldiers, really means that they can't just move in and take over your house to have soldiers live there uh, without special uh, reasons and permissions. Article 5 puts limits on warrants and searches of houses, uh, which really led to the, the idea of having search warrants. Uh, the uh, fifth article is an important article, which is about double jeopardy. Uh, and double jeopardy means not being tried for the same crime twice. Uh, so if a defendant has been found not guilty, this is supposed to limit uh, another trial for the same crime. Uh, uh, article, uh, the next article is uh, a right to a speedy trial um, and to be able to call witnesses um, and challenge accusations. Uh, of course, this still uh, is, many trials do take quite a long time to complete. Um, the uh, next article, uh, another important, very important change was the right to a jury trial, which still exists the right to have a jury decide whether a defendant is guilty or not guilty. Um, and that is both in criminal trials and in lawsuits. Uh, and then the final article is for there to be fair bail for uh, crimes. Uh, though obviously we know that sometimes bail can be extremely high for small crimes even today. Um, but th those are the, the 10 uh, First Amendments uh, call the Bill of Rights. One of the f most important amendments uh, was the First Amendment. Uh, this one uh, is freedom of religion, so freedom to belong to any religion that a person wants to belong to, rather than the government pushing one uh, uh, religion on a person, whether it be a denomination or, or anything to do with religion. Um, there is uh, a freedom of religion, freedom, which means freedom of worship, and I uh, mean the government needs to to stay out of uh, of religious matters with uh, people's individual choice of religion. Uh, uh, also, in the same amendment, you have freedom of speech and freedom of press, which is probably a cornerstone, one of the largest um, parts of now the Constitution. Um, is freedom of speech. Um, even unpopular speech, 
um, in speech in which you disagree with the government or disagree with with anything that's going on in society, and it certainly applies to modern days, such as Twitter, Facebook, and 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 also uh, freedom to protest, freedom of the press, uh, meaning the government cannot control newspapers or television stations or the internet, um, and the right to gather in groups to protest. They're all part of the first, the very large First Amendment. The Fourth Amendment, again, refers to uh, eventually leading to the need for search warrants. Uh, this limits the ability of law enforcement to just break into a house and search, and now they need to have uh, a subpoena or a warrant. Um, and that's what this amendment refers to. So the Bill of Rights is, is still very much um, a crucial aspect of United States history and also present day. Uh, throughout history, um, many people who have tried uh, to create change have used the uh, Bill of Rights and the First Amendment for the right to protest, for example. Uh, you see this even in the later 1900s, the Cesar Chavez, Martin Luther King Jr., uh, frequently uh, have quoted the Bill of Rights to um, uh, secure their, their right to protest or bring about change. Um, so it's still a crucial aspect of the United States. So um, there are various celebrations of the Bill of Rights, such as the Bill of Rights Day and, 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 and lesser known celebrations, but uh, the main point is that this, the, the Bill of Rights is still uh, a crucial part of uh, U.S. history and led to many of the changes that we are, are covering in this class. Okay. So just submit your ID when ready, and uh, I'll give you more information about that later also.